Hold it right there, you thieving little scallop. Aren't you the one who's been digging around in my booty? Oh, do you mean the booty stopped in the crack of the ship? Uh, no, I don't know anything about that. It was probably the Dutchman again. His booty is bigger than anyone's, but he still comes out here to get his hands on even more. He just can't get enough booty. Will you let me use your cannon if I bring you some fresh booty? Yes, you heard all that right. Somehow, some way they managed to get Tom Kenny to say all those lines. I don't know how they did it, I don't care how they did it, but that was amazing. It's so weird to see an adult joke made in a Spongebob game. Come, come gather round. This is Spongebob Revenge of the Flying Dutchman for Nintendo GameCube, the Sony PlayStation 2, and the Nintendo Game Boy. A game released by Blue Sky Interactive. You often hear Revenge of the Flying Dutchman being compared to Battle for Bikini Bottom when it comes to how Battle for Bikini Bottom is the best of the best when it comes to the Spongebob games. However, this game usually gets pushed to the wayside, and that's either because people say that it's just old and it's not a very good game, or that it's rose-tinted glasses, it's just nostalgia talking, or some people believe that it was actually one of their favorites, and it's my job in this video, we're going to go ahead and go through the game 100%, we're going to collect all the things that we can, we're going to do everything that we're able to, and by the end of the video we're going to find out whether or not this game was really as bad as people make it out to be, or if it actually had some merit. Now immediately I noticed that there is one little weird kink that this game has and that's every time you pause the game the the music restarts like do you hear this listen I hope that doesn't spell bad omens for the rest of the game I kind of like this menu, it's not like the normal static menu that you see in most games, but it's actually got some character to it. Let's go ahead and jump into a new game. Oh god, Spongebob, I hope you're right, man, when you say that. Just please let it be in a good way. Alright, so after the cutscene, we're able to move around, and uh, it looks like we can hit the A button to do some jumping. And uh, we're able to pick up Spongebob's pants. Now, these are actually the, the health system for the game. You take hits equal to the amount of pants you have, and when you run out, you die. Now, uh, this game doesn't really have a consequence for dying. It just kind of knocks you back to where the checkpoint is. Oh, you don't say. You had a dream too? Meow, 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 meow. That something really bad is gonna happen? Uh-huh. Meow, 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 meow. Whoa, that really is bad. Well, I know just the thing to cheer you up. I'll go fetch your favorite fetching stick. All right, we got our first objective. We got to find Gary's fetching stick. Um, okay. I think I know where that is, but uh, let's check this room real quick. Well, that's kind of neat. You're, we're able to get different uh, sound bites for whenever we enter this room. I'm guessing this is his bathroom. All right, I'll be here forever if we just stick around. So let's do, let's try to find the fetching stick. Let's head north this time. Don't you think your little friend Gary would like to play some fetch? Uh, yeah, I guess. Very well. Then move next to his fetching stick and press the action button to pick it up. Alright, so then press B to pick up small objects. I'm guessing this is a mechanic we're going to be using a lot throughout the game. So let's go ahead and grab the stick and bring it to Gary and see if that cheers him up. You didn't think I was going to leave for work without a quick game of fetch, did you, Gary? Now come on, boy! Go long! Longer! Longer! <laughs> 
What did you dig up outside, boy? Hmm, there's something written on it. I think it says, Damger, Donut Alpine, Orelsi. I wonder what that means. So this cutscene lasts quite a while, but it did establish one thing. Spongebob can't read. Now, even though he can't read, this cutscene takes forever, so I'm just going to go ahead and summarize it. Gary ends up digging up the Flying Dutchman's treasure, and Spongebob ends up breaking into it and inadvertently releasing the Flying Dutchman from his bottle. I, th I, I thought he was a ghost, not a genie, but I guess he's a genie in this game. And it turns out releasing him kind of gives him the right to kidnap our friends and use him on his pirate crew. So we kind of have to figure out how to stop him before he takes Gary from us. Oh, Spongebob also sells out Gary here and basically uh, just throws speaking, him under the bus. It was not me who found you. Gary's the one who dug you up. Boy, if you don't get your squiggly diggly head Now after that cutscene, you're actually able to run around the pineapple and you notice these things stick out. These are actually golden doubloons. These are the most common collectible that's spread throughout the game that we had to pick up. So let's go ahead and grab these and then we'll figure out what we're going to have to do to save Gary. Who's afraid of the big bad Dutchman? Not us! I heard that! Alright, heading outside the pineapple. Oh. Ow. There's actually something. Oh. The camera gets stuck on collisions. Oh, that's not a good sign. Okay, well... We'll continue through the game, but I have a feeling that this camera is going to be real difficult for us to deal with later in the game. Foreshadowing. Alright, and you haven't figured it out already, you can hit the A button to jump. Granted, I feel like most people kind of figured that out in the tutorial, but this is a kid's game after all, so let's go ahead and jump up here. I really need to reach that other ledge, but I don't think I have it in me. Don't be discouraged. You can do it. Press jump, then you can glide a bit farther if you press jump again before you land. So, as the voice eloquently put it, all you gotta do is hit the jump button, hit the jump button again, and you can do a small little glide across gaps. I, we're gonna be using this a lot, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, so these are the main collectible of the game. These are letter tiles, as the voice so eloquently put it. We gotta pick them up until we can spell SpongeBob to find a hidden treasure. Each level has these letters and we need to collect them all to finish the level. Gee, Patrick, is everything okay? Not okay, not okay. Something fell on my roof and now my TV doesn't work. I can't get up there to fix the thing and I'm missing all my favorite shows. No, oh, what are you waiting for, SpongeBob? I'm missing my shows. A real buddy would get up there and make my life complete again. Uh, oh, barnacles. So after being kill trip by Patrick, the game basically explains here if we hold the duck button and hit the A button to jump, we get a nice boost to our actual jump height. We're going to be using this a lot, for sure. I guarantee you, you're going to be using this. Alrighty, looks like I found your problem. There's a big thingy on your thingy and it's all bent out of shape. But it looks too big for me to move. You don't need to move it when you can simply break it apart. Face the container and press the action button to karate chop it. So we hit the B button to break the barrel. Um, this is going to be how we attack enemies most of the time. Oh, Granted, most of the time you aren't going to need to attack enemies. And I'll explain it later. SpongeBob. Save your gratitude, my jolly pink friend. It's all in a day's work for a sponge such as I. But uh, maybe you can help me with a problem that I'm having. You see, it all started this morning when Gary and I were playing fetch. Oh, on second thought, who wants to stay at home and watch TV on a day like this? I'm going downtown to see the new construction site. Maybe you could meet me there and we'll play Mermaid Man and Vertical Boy. Last one, there's a nematode. You know, Patrick, I just did all that work to get up there to break that barrel so you can watch your TV. Why are you leaving to go to downtown? Not That's not even important. Why'd you cut me off like that? What the fuck? What, what kind of friend are you? Uh, what are we gonna do? Find Patrick in downtown. I guess the game will explain how we get there later. Well, he drops off a letter for us, so we did need to do this. Okay, so actually hitting the pause button will bring up a to-do list for you. It actually just straight up tells you, or it hints at where you can find the rest of the letters. It even has a percentage for the jellyfish that we need to collect later, the doubloons, and uh, I think these are the sand dollars, yeah. Some of these levels have sand dollars, we'll have to collect them too as we go. While I was collecting these doubloons around that pineapple, it just made me think, if I hold the duck button while I move, oh yeah, okay, so if you hit the duck button while you move, it actually makes you do these rolls, and Spongebob squeaks a lot and he kind of looks weird, but 
I don't think this mechanic actually has any benefits to doing. It doesn't look like you move any faster. Maybe maybe it provides invincibility frames? Uh, I don't know, but I, it's there, so that's pretty neat. Well, heading to the next area, Bikini Bottom, we... Oh, hey, look, it's the hooks. You remember the hooks, right? From Yeah, of course, everybody knows the hooks. warned me about playing hooky, but they look so fun. Maybe just one quick ride while no one's looking. Ah, you little troublemaker. Those hooks can be very dangerous, but I promise not to tell if you use your fishing net to hang from them. That's the only safe way to do it. Use fishing gear to hang from the hook. Okay, we'll actually get access to this later. Okay, looks like you use these geysers to actually give you a lift. Okay. Okay, green goo, do not touch, hurts you. Got it. Guess we'll go ahead and grab this letter while we're here. I wish I could take a long ride on the bus. Just think of all the amazing places outside Bikini Bottom and all the fun things I could do. Your wish can easily come true. All you need is the right ticket for this bus stop. When you have the correct ticket, jump onto the bench and the bus will stop for you. Okay, so that's how we get to downtown to meet Patrick. We just need the downtown bus ticket and then we can jump on the bench to go. Uh, I guess we'll get that from exploring. I, I get, we still gotta collect the rest of the letters for Bikini Bottom, so let's go do that. Maybe we'll come across the ticket. So this is where we go to change our costumes. We just have to find a tent. So we'll, let's go ahead and select the fishing gear so we can go ahead and pa platform on those hooks. Well, on stop the video, I, I know it's, it's cliche. Future person coming back and editing to, to explain something, but you guys need to hear this. It's serious. If you ever are gonna pick up this game, I need to ask you a question. Do you hear the song we're playing right now? Do you like this song? Or do you hate it? Well, either way, it's a trick question. You are going to hate this song because this song repeats over and over and over and over and every time you pause the game or do anything it restarts from the beginning over and over and over again what the f huh well it doesn't matter we got the fishing uniform and this is what we use to collect the jellyfish i just want to warn everybody catch every jellyfish that you see i know that i said that i'm gonna get everything anyway this will come up again later. I'm going to catch all the jellyfish for a particular reason down the line. I'll bring it up when we get there. Okay, looks like I got everything around Bikini Bottom for now. Let's go ahead and go into the Krusty Krab so we can see what's in there. All right, we're in the Krusty Krab and it, it pretty much looks like it does in the show. So, uh, okay, there's some giant fish over there and some doubloons and uh, some barrels. Oh, there's some jellyfish too. I guess we'll go ahead and fish for those real quick. Use Karate Chop or Belly Slam to defeat enemies. Okay, so the game... Okay, so the big fish are enemies. Okay. Okay, it looks like it takes three hits to hit them. I don't know. He didn't attack me. Maybe they maybe they aren't hostile? I don't know. But it gave us a letter. Okay. Does that mean we're going to have to defeat more enemies later to get more tiles? I'm going to break it to you guys. No. This is like one of the only times you ever need to defeat an enemy to get anything. So... You're better off just avoiding enemies altogether. Alright, looks like the last letter for Spongebob was up here too, and when we grab it, Spongebob starts spinning like crazy. Spongebob, stop, you're gonna go out of control! <laughs> and it looks like after collecting all the Spongebob tiles, it takes you to a slide puzzle. Oh, God, I hate these things. Thankfully, these aren't too bad because it, it's pretty much evident how it's supposed to look. It's also got a time limit too. God, I hope you know how to do slide puzzles or you're above the age of five because this is really hard, really tough. God, the, the character animation in this game is so weird looking. It's so uncanny. Looks like the game gives us some unique music. Okay, that's a nice break from the jellyfishing song. And it gives us you a unique costume. Okay. So, it's B to use the divining rod. Okay, so it's kind of like a, a hot and cold kind of thing. If we're in the, if we're facing the right way with the stick, when we hold the B button, you see these waves and sound, and it tells us where to go, unless you can 
already tell from the picture, but I, this is pretty cool too, I guess. It just can't find it. Okay, it's we got an old sock. Gary, where are you, boy? Gary, why did you take Gary, Mr. Dutchman? Why, why, why? No one makes my best friends into pirates, and I mean no one. Oh shit! I guess we were too slow to help Gary. Ugh. Yeah, we'll have to figure out a way to get Gary back now. Hey, look at Squidward. I wonder why he wasn't out here earlier. Uh, I guess I'll go Hello, say hi to him. SpongeBob. So nice of you to finally join us. Squidward, am I glad to see you? You won't believe what just happened to me and Gary. I don't have time. Okay, I can actually believe that Squidward would totally cut me off in this situation, but Patrick, on the other hand, come on, buddy, you're my best friend. What the fuck? All right, we gotta raise Squidward and. <laughs> You know, that's actually a pretty good touch. I, I can totally see Squidward not giving a shit about getting there first, so... I guess I'll just go ahead and go beat him. I don't, I don't mean beat him that way. God, what are you guys thinking? I'm not... Haha, <laughs> Squidward, you got cream, buddy. Not that it was as big of a challenge, anyway. It didn't even... Didn't even break a sweat getting here before him. See, Mr. Krabs, I told you SpongeBob would show up eventually. I sure hope you're not mad about having to wait because then someone might not be picked as Wait, your what? No, I beat month. you. What what do you mean I show up event? I was here first. Did he teleport here through the screen transfer? Never mind that. I'm going downtown to set things up. You take this bus ticket and meet me there as soon as you can. Oh, okay. So Mr. Krabs gave us the ticket to her downtown. Well, thanks, Mr. K. All right, I guess we'll go ahead and pick that up and meet Mr. Krabs downtown. While we're there, we'll actually have to look for Patrick, too, because he said he was going to be there. Something about a construction site, I think. Just what exactly is your plan, Mr. Krabs? It's just like you said, SpongeBob. If no one wants to leave home, then we bring the Krusty Krab to them. I'm talking about food delivery! You know, Mr. Krabs is real ahead of the curve with this. In 2015 alone, 66 million Americans ordered $8.7 billion of food delivery. And in 2020, 26 billion dollars in food revenue. Mr. Krabs, you keep this up and you'll never have to work again. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and pick up the food now, and we gotta deliver it to 17 Seashell Street. According to the sign, it looks like Seashell Street is this way, so we'll go that way. One little neat trick for everybody who plans on playing this game, don't know who would, but it's actually faster just to jump with the food because it's slower just to walk with it. So keep jumping away. Okay, so we got the delivery complete, and we got our first $5 worth of sand bucks. Okay, so. Let's go ahead and go back to Mr. Oh, you fucker. Oh, can I be Mermaid Man? Oh, please, oh, please, oh, please. Oh, gee, I'd really like to, but I've been so hungry since I ran out of kelp bars. If only I had something yummy to eat. Well, that's easy. Yeah, I'll just go get a bag from Mr. Krabs and deliver it to Patrick and hope to God I don't get fired for giving away free food, so. Krabby Patties? I'm saved! Now we can play Mermaid Man for as long as we want! I put your costume in that tent over there, SpongeBob. Watch out, evil! Here we come! And Patrick gave us the Mermaid Man costume, so we'll just go ahead and go into the tent and change that. Now, unfortunately, you guys, even though it's a cool costume and the music is better, you're only gonna need to use this costume twice. Not just twice in this level, but twice in the entire game. There's only one more moment after this one where using the costume is necessary. I'll, I'll make sure to bring it up when we get there. So we got the food, now we gotta just avoid these drills and give it to this customer. And then we gotta hit this red button with the costume to get up higher. There we go. Ah, oh, shit! There we go, I actually got it this time. And we can actually use these water balls to actually hurt this enemy. Let's see if I can hit him. God, that's so unwieldy. Well, at least we get a letter out of it. We still gotta grab the bag, though, and deliver it to the guy that's underneath us. Let's go do that real quick. 
Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that costume for now because uh, it's time to switch back to the net. I still gotta get jellyfish. So now that we got the food delivered, Mr. Krabs wants us to go to the high rise buildings to deliver more food. There's just something about that place that rubs me the wrong way. Maybe it's it, maybe it's nothing. Let's just go ahead and meet him. Over. Oh my God, it's this place. Memories from my childhood are coming back. This place has horrible depth perception. This is one of the hardest platforming in the game because you can barely tell where SpongeBob is. You can't move the camera at all. What the hell were they thinking with this level? And we gotta get all the way to the top of it to get a letter? Oh God. Okay, I made it up here. You don't know how many tries this took. It took so many times, so many falls just to come back up and do it. I fucking hate this part. All right, now we'll actually deliver the food so that we got the tile. I just hope that this is easier. Oh God, oh God, don't let me fall, please. Oh God, I just need to make the jump. Fuck, oh, oh I gotta get another bag now. All right, just gotta ride the jellyfish and then just gotta jump here to get to number one like this. And there we go, okay. Thank God we're done here. I don't wanna have to come back here ever again. I hate this place. So our first delivery address is 88 Albatross Avenue, okay. So to get a little bit sidetracked, I didn't actually know what an albatross was as a kid. It wasn't until I started to become older and more knowledgeable, knowledgeable, that I was finally able to know that an albatross was actually a bird. Did you know that albatrosses have the largest wingspan of any living bird? And they can go years without touching land? They can live and raise chicks into their 60s? And they mate for life by using some like elaborate dance? And they can smell food in the water from up to 12 miles away? That's a fucking albatross for you. <laughs> oh god. Why did I even look this fact up? You think you're the only one who can be a delivery boy? Well, I have a job now too, and it's not my fault that you're slower than me. So if you'll excuse me, some of us have work to do. Mr. Krabs would have told me if he hired someone else. No, there's something definitely funny going on here, and I'm gonna find out who's behind it. So Patrick took out his anger on us, but uh, now we gotta figure out who he's actually working for. Come on, it, 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 he's wearing it on him. So we actually can't finish downtown right now. We gotta come back here when we get our next costume. And then we can come back here and finish out the level. So Mr. Krabs actually gets kidnapped here. Great. So the longer we take, the more our friends get kidnapped. We gotta pick up the pace a little bit. There's Patrick. You guys wanna see something really cool? I figured this out when I was a kid. Watch this. What kind of fucking tailing was that? So yeah, obviously it was Plankton who was hiring Patrick under the, the guise of robot crabs, but that wasn't surprising. We You guys saw that coming, right? You, you guys saw that coming. Oh, come world. I remember come world. I'm actually looking forward to that. And all seven of the lost treasures in order to face down the Dutchman once and for all. Okay, so yeah, the, the treasures we've been collecting will eventually lead us to the end game when we can finally fight the Flying Dutchman. Okay. I thought this would be a challenge. I remember this part from when I was a kid. All we gotta do is mash the attack button, or in this case B, until we break a couple boxes. And then for some reason when you attack the AI, they're programmed to try to hit you back. So it's it's impossible to lose this. We have to we just have to wait out the time now. What happened in here, Sandy? I got all fired up after our karate match and wanted to practice some more, but I guess I got carried away because I accidentally poked some holes in the dome. What can I do to help? See if you can find something to plug the holes in the dome. You've got to plug all the holes to stop the water from coming in. Wait, Sandy, how did you put 10 holes into your tree dome by practicing karate? How did you do that? They're all over the tree dome. You didn't want to stop after the first one? It doesn't matter. I don't know why I'm questioning this. Just pick up the acorns around and plug up the holes. It'll work, I swear. There's no time to dilly Alright, Sandy, I'll go we do it now. Go. There you go, Sandy. I plugged up all the holes for you. And I'm glad you're grateful, but I got you a gift. The gift is, uh, it's it, it's an acorn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here, hold on. Let me get it for you. Hey there, Sponge there you go. Back so soon? What you got there? SpongeBob! This is no acorn! Get up here right away! You know, I really should have seen this coming. I 
All right, I guess it won't. Yeah, we gotta help Sandy out. Let's go ahead and knock down the hive. Sandy, I'm sorry. I I didn't think that it was. I didn't think it was that big of a deal. I I can take. I'll take it back. I'll take it back. No, 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 I'll take it back. What have I done? No, Sandy. Why do I get a weird feeling of nostalgia looking up at this sunlight? Well, it makes sense. I got to go around catching the bugs now. We can we can go ahead and cut, catch the bugs. Well, we're not gonna just leave them around for Sandy to mess with. And again, it's one of these karate match things. All you gotta do is just mash the the button, and it's impossible to lose. The AI always wants to target you after you hit them, so just use that to your advantage, and you won't lose. All right, we got our next treasure, and uh, Squid also gets kidnapped here. Great, we need to hurry this along now. Now this is actually pretty missable in the cutscene. I don't really understand how some kids were able to know what to do next, because the game doesn't really point you in this direction. Look in this cutscene, you can actually see the jellyfish pulling the ticket that we need to go to the next area. So, if you didn't see this, there's a chance that you would be stuck for a long time as a kid. But, memory serves right, I remember the jellyfish having the ticket at this point. So we just gotta grab it from them. And uh, get ready for a whole lot of jellyfish, because out of all places we gotta go to, we're on to jellyfish fields. We're gonna breeze through jellyfish fields. A lot of it is just catch jellyfish, collect the balloons. It's it's all the same stuff. There's nothing really new here. Uh, I will make sure I point out all the the points that I need to. Oh my god, you guys, the white jellyfish. This thing is a four minute auto scroller where all you have to do is jump over and stay on the white jellyfish. And if you fail this, like I did, because this game has shitty fucking collision, you have to do it from the very beginning. Four minutes down the fucking drain. Sand dollars at Chum World and make you rich. Nice try, but all those holes in your head must have dried out your brain. I gave special instructions to all my Chum World clowns not to give you a bus ticket. Well, Plankton will give me a ticket to come, World, so I guess I gotta find this clown that he's talking about like he's not gonna give me a ticket. I'll find a way to give him, give me the ticket. He'll give me the ticket. I wanna go to come, World. But I'll tell you what, Squid, if you can defeat me... Okay, so you don't wanna give me the ticket, that's fine. Okay, That's okay, it. One up. hit. You know, I bet Plankton doesn't even pay these guys. It doesn't even surprise me. They don't want to go harder than that. So I'll just take this ticket and we'll go ahead and find Come World later. The first contestant to gather 100 jellyfish and bring them back here is the winner. Going back to the point I made at the beginning of this video. Now, this is why you needed to catch all your jellyfish. If you failed to catch at least 26 jellyfish outside of this level, you will have to leave jellyfish fields until you get 100 jellyfish total, or you don't get the reef blower, which is you need to have. So if you weren't catching jellyfish, I'm sorry, you should have taken my... You should have taken it when I, when I told you at the beginning of the game. Now you gotta go out of the level. But thankfully, I did it already, so we can get the costume right now. Finally, some new music. But guess what? And I bet you already know what I'm gonna tell you. We only use the leaf blower three times in the entire game. What the fuck? You know what costume we use throughout the entire game? The jellyfishing uniform. That's right. The most well used, most annoying song. Oh my god, why couldn't they pick something different? Alright, you already know the deal. We got another piece of the treasure, and another friend gets kidnapped. Well, with Patrick here, it's not really kidnapped, but, you know. But now that we actually got the reef blower, we can go back to downtown and finally finish that off because, my god, we need to hurry this video along. It's starting to become a bit of a long one, so let's go do that. Yay! SpongeBob Public Service Worker Simulator. So fun. 
Listen, nothing will convince me to give away this extra ticket. Well, maybe for 50 jellyfish, which I can use to make my favorite snack. Yeah, that's right. To even get the next ticket from Larry, we need to get more jellyfish. Oh my god. You don't even need to collect the doubloons. The doubloons are just there. You don't even need to collect them. But the jellyfish, you have to collect them or you don't get to go to another level. We need 50 more of them, which means we'll have to come back after we go to Come World and get more jellyfish. Wait, did I just say we're going to Come World? Yes, finally, a break from this music. Come World is one of the only levels where it has music that doesn't get overwritten by the costume. Thank God, I needed this. I'm tired of listening to the jellyfishing theme the entire game. Uh, maybe we could make a deal. I'll light five targets nearby. And if you can extinguish them all really quickly, then maybe I could use it as an excuse to leave this door. Oh, and, uh, sad to say, guys, but this is the last time we're using the Mermaid Man costume. That's, we only used it twice? That is some wasted potential right there. How could you have not figured out what to do with this costume? Like you had an idea at the beginning, we don't even use it like that anymore. To hit like things to drop platforms? Maybe they just, I, I honestly don't even know. I, I, I don't have the knowledge to, to figure out why they couldn't do anything more with the costume. But uh, thanks Mermaid Man's costume. I guess I'll see you in another 10 years or so. You know, for a new mechanic, the cannon's actually pretty fun. You can just mess around with it if you really want to. But we only really use it in this level, and then in the last level of the game. So unfortunately, we don't get a lot, a lot of opportunities to play with cannon. So that's a little unfortunate. I love the cannon. And this is the part of the game when the camera will truly get to you. Because it gets stuck on every single piece of collision in this platforming challenge in the big top it gets stuck on literally everything it really really fucking sucks just look at the camera getting stuck on the collision what the fuck and every oh my god and i fell i gotta do it again and this point in head says we have to come back later so you know what that means we're probably not gonna have to finish this level now we'll probably have to come back to it later Yay, backtracking. Oh, chum putt. How could they get this game wrong? It's just mini golf, right? That's that's it's all it's got to be, right? It's just mini golf. What, what am I so what am I so afraid of? It's just golf. Let's just go in. They they can't possibly mess this up. Oh god, they messed it up. This is not golfing. You had to use the reef blower to push the ball up the hill. Hitting the checkpoints, basically escorting the ball. This is not golf. Oh my god, the soundbite for the teeth is so loud compared to the rest of the game. That was the worst golf I ever played. It was so slow, so boring. If you failed it, you had to restart the course, just like everything else in this game. It's fucking restarting. <sighs> Thank God we're done here. Give Larry the jellyfish so that we can finally go to Jellyfish Fields. Wait. <laughs> and Harold Schwarzenegger imitate. Wait a minute. Did you notice that? Hold on a second. Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. No way. Every time he does a voice line, the song restarts? How, how do you even program that? Is it on like the same track or something that the music is on? Well, I hope you enjoy the first 10 seconds of the song because you're going to hear it a lot more than we already have. Yep, this is the last time we got to do this whole thing, unfortunately. You know, it isn't really different from when we did it with Sandy. Hit the B button, break stuff, and hit the, and hit the AI so that he doesn't do anything else. With all the treasure tiles finally taken care of, and all the treasure got, we can finally go take on the Dutchman in his graveyard. Wait, how did they, how are they sending things into my house? Is my roof gone? It, ha it has to be, right? Well, uh, real, real threatening, real urgent. They keep dropping in the same spot. Only you can.
can save them from the revenge of the Flying Dutchman. <laughs> he said it. Roll credits, please. Please. Please roll credits. Please. Fuck. You know, it's not that easy. Oh, thank God, more music. Ah, oh, yes. And I don't have to hear the jellyfish one anymore. Thank God. Hold it right there, you thieving little scallop. Aren't you the one who's been digging around in my booty? Oh, do you mean the booty stuffed in the crack of this ship? Uh, no, I don't know anything about that. It was probably the Dutchman again. His booty is bigger than anyone's, but he still comes out here to get his hands on even more. He just can't get enough booty. Will you let me use your cannon if I bring you some fresh booty? Sure. Oh my god. Come on, man. This is a kid's game. How the hell did they get this in the game? I don't... This game is amazing now. This whole level made up for the entire game. 10 out of 10. Absolutely the best part of the game right now. Thanks for the you-know-what. Bon voyage. Yep, another one's done, and there he goes. Wait. He didn't go through the- <laughs> He just phased through the fencing! Save friends time. And everyone except for Squid does this really weird uncanny like float jump off the boat like they didn't want to animate like a jumping animation. And here we go. Boss fight against the flying Dutchman to end the game. All you gotta do in this boss fight, avoid him and throw the bombs back at him three times until he's defeated. Wow, that happened. And the Flying Dutchman is sealed and defeated. That's the game, ladies and gentlemen. After the credits, it's back to the menu, just like the older games. We are finished 100% with SpongeBob Revenge of the Flying Dutchman. Now, you're probably wondering, do you get anything special for, you know, 100%ing the game and going through what just a trash heap of a game? No, you don't. You don't get any special thing for 100 percent of the game nothing nope zilch you get nothing in conclusion spongebob revenge of the flying dutchman is it really as bad as people make it out to be in some ways yes in some ways no i think the real strong parts of this game are the beginning the voice acting by a lot of the cast is really good still the writing is pretty poor but some of the levels are fun some of the challenges are fun I think that the worst offenders of the game are probably jellyfish fields just because you had to catch so many jellyfish and the mandatory jellyfish count is awful for this is a kid's game there's no way any kid is going to have the patience to jellyfish every level to make sure he can actually finish the game so in in and of itself that's a horrible idea but it has some it has some fun moments like Come world is pretty fun except for the really bad chum punt level but you know playing this again after 10 years it really wasn't as bad as i remember it being it's still bad don't get me wrong battle for bikini bottom is still master class in comparison i would much rather play the spongebob movie game not as bad as i remember it being but if you are interested in hearing my thoughts on spongebob battle for bikini bottom I'll leave a link to it here, just click on the card right there, and it'll also be a link in the description if you want to go watch that. But this video took forever to record and make, so if I could just ask for one thing, leave a like on this video, leave a comment, it helps a lot. It just lets me know how I'm doing as a content creator. If you made it to the end of this video, hope you enjoyed it, I had a lot of fun making it. Again, if you want to watch the Belfort Bikini Bottom video, it's right here. If you want to watch something else that YouTube recommends for you out of my content, it's right here for you. So, without further ado, hope you guys have a good rest of your day or night, depending on when you watch this video. And for anybody who's seen my SpongeBob Belfort Bikini Bottom Rehydrated Let's Play from all those years ago, here's a little send off for you. Something a little nostalgic. Hard 
ass so I take six Love no one, recognize me as a fake bitch Go so dumb, I'm a prescribed patient's favorite Hey, hey, nod your head to it Hey, hey, drop dead to it Hey, hey, nod your head to it